So we implemented the routing system. We have few pages, we have register page, we have login page. Now before we do anything further, we want to bring in the bootstrap CSS so that we can style our application, create the uh, responsive design. And we also need to use end design to uh, implement the navigation. That is the first thing we want to do, right? Because we don't want to just hard code every time we want to uh, go to different components, right? So let's do that. First, let's go to bootstrap material. Bootstrap material. Okay, and this is the link you need to click, the very first result. All right, click on get started and uh, grab this CSS. This is the only one we need. We don't need JS, we don't need jQuery or anything. We're just going to use CSS. Just, just so that we can use a CSS classes, the bootstrap classes, nice and easy to um, uh, style our application. All right, so grab that and go to the project and go to public index.html. Let me actually get rid of all the comment. We don't need that. All right. So that link we can put here at the end. I guess so that's our link. Okay, so we're done here. Let's save this file. Now immediately you might see a bit of a difference here. So you can see the font has been changed because now we have bootstrap. Great. Now next we want to use ant design. So ant design source for that. It's quite a popular uh, React library, even popular than uh, Material UI and so much easier compared to Material UI. All right, so let's click here. And the first thing you want to do is um, you can go to the docs and go through the docs, but um, I find it easy to just to search whatever um, I'm trying to use this uh, end design for. So this time I want to use for navigation right so they have a component called menu let's search for menu all right so they have this nice example here they have you can see the example here you can get the code you can copy the code you can even open in code pen all right so here we want this type of navigation all right so let's have a look at the code so they have imported the menu component and then these icons also you can import from the end design icons and they have the state they have the on click function and they simply uh, show each navigation items here all right so we can do this let's go back to our project and let's uh, create a file let's create a component which we can import and show here as a nav so this will reflect for the entire application all right so let's create one folder here inside source let's call it components all right so here let's create a folder nav let's call it nav all right so inside this nav folder let's create a file let's call it header.js so here let's import react from react let's import menu from and design menu from and right and we can bring these icons as well let's copy this all right then we can destructure menu from sub menu this way all right so this could also be written as menu which we have imported here menu dot sub menu we can do this as well but this is much easier so we don't have to write all this long syntax all right so we create a component they have used the class component but we can just use functional components so let's create a component create a state called current all right so let's come here const header that's our component export default header 
So here, first we need to create a state. So to use the state in these functional components, we can bring in the com um, hook called use a state from React. All right. So this hook, hooks are basically a function. Now this use state hook will allow us to create a local state. All right. So const the state. That's the state variable name and uh, we're going to create a method that will allow us to update the state. Okay, so that's the name of the state. And to update the state, we uh, create another function called set state. All right. So whatever the name that is, just prefix with uh, set. So that's the convention. So state set state equals to use state. That's how that's how we create a state. And by default, we give it empty value okay so this is similar to how you would do in the class-based components this way you do it in class-based but with uh, functional components it's it's quite easy we can do it like that using use state all right the next thing we want to do is we want to render the menu right so we can copy this code i guess i can copy the entire menu but uh, if you if for some reason this has changed documentation sometimes they can change don't worry let me just refactor quickly i guess so here return parenthesis and here let me paste that and let me quickly um, get rid of some of the components so that it is nice and easy for you to read and even pause the video and copy all right so first we have here menu on click function they have on click handle click we can create that function const handle click let's just leave it for now selected keys the current all right so state so previously we wrote state instead we can name it current okay so current set current so that's the name of our state so the current selected keys so whichever you click that will be uh, available in the state that way our uh, end design will show which navigation link is active and it will show the active link with a bit of a, a, a different color right so menu we have menu we have the menu item that is the first item and you can see the key is mail so each menu item they have different keys so this one has mail and they have used the icon you don't have to you can get rid of that okay you can even get rid of the key but let's leave it as it is so that's the first item that's the second item okay let me get rid of the second item for now okay so that's first item and this is the item with a drop down all right so if you come here have a look at the example you can see this is a drop down so we're going to use that as well so let's keep that but we don't need these two um, item group you can see here in the example that's a first item group that's a second item group so let's get rid of one okay and let me save so you can see it's already looking much better now so we have the menu component inside menu component we have the first item we have the second item but this one is different this is a sub menu with a drop down there's an icon has been used and the title is given there okay so this title you can see is the name all right so maybe we can change the title name so here let's call it home and this one um, let's call it register for now all right so the item group the title so the item this way you can see these these ones i think we don't need that so let me get rid of that but if you want obviously you can use but let's get rid of that for now just to keep things simple okay we want to focus on the functionality at the moment all right so we have the one uh, option one first item and second item okay so these have the unique keys feel free to change them based on whatever name you give at the moment just let's leave it and let's have a look how it looks in the browser all right so for that we need to import this header component 
in our app component right so let's go to app let's import that head of from so from here we need to go inside components nav and then bring that in so components nav header all right and here we have switch component on top of switch i can put that header component all right that means here header now you can see this is a problem because uh this is two element this is one element this is another element so when we have two element we need one wrapping element okay so let's copy cut and then we can use fragment or uh, this is uh, think of this as div i guess think think of this as div but in react we can just use fragments so you don't have to write div sometimes div can mess up the styling so we can just use fragments okay so let's give it a try let's have a look all right so module not found and design icons looks like we have to install it separately so let's give that a try okay let me open the terminal let me stop it and then npm install and design slash icons so it has been installed let me run the server back again npm start all right module not found can't resolve ant didn't we install ant let me have a look at the package.json okay so we forgot to install ant let me um, install that npm install ant all right so we have the end design which is great but looks terrible that's because we need to import the end css as well right and that will be used for the entire application all right so what we can do is we can import that in index.js the reason i am doing it here because that's top level because that in and design css we need for the entire application so uh, we can put here same with the browser router and later we're going to um, add redux as well redux store so everything will be happening in the top level so we don't have to just keep going into the app okay so here we need to import um, and css as well import import and dash dist uh, slash and dot css all right and let's try and you can see here we have this beautiful ant design navigation At the moment if you click it, uh, it doesn't take us anywhere because we haven't done anything with that but we can see the navigation is there now let's continue in the next lecture we're going to uh, use react router dom so that when we click on these uh, navigation uh, links we can take user to a separate component.